Hello and welcome, I'm Arumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some more of our The Roman Empire campaign in Europe Universal's War. <laughs> Once again, I'm sick. Jesus, um, it's insane. Whatever, whatever, we gotta keep playing games, because games are fun. So, yeah. There's gonna be people who probably say things like, You sound different. Yeah, I do. <laughs> I'm very stuffy. So, I can't breathe. And that changes when my voice sounds. That's how it works for you, too. It's just that you might not be recording videos today. It'll get better. You know, like three, four, or five videos in, I should be good. Which is part of the reason why I started recording fairly early this morning. Because we've got the uh, the CQ2 multiplayer campaign today. So, I'm hoping that I don't sound like um, I do <laughs> for that. Alright, 1.8% unrest in every province. That's really, really bad. But, we have these cores that we'll finish fairly soon. The actual chance, though, with that many individual provinces is 24.4%. We're already at 3 stability. Um, we already have our policy active. We already have our religious thing active. We do not have a theologian. So I'm going to fire this guy over and over again until we get a theologian to solve this problem. And you can just you can leave this open, and it'll pop up a new character. I've, I've learned this. Alright, let's hope that we don't actually have that thing fire. Roman particularists would be especially un unwelcome. They would rebel damn near everywhere. Okay, come on, stop it with the National Tax Advisors, please. I don't need I don't need that stuff. That's nonsense. Missionary strength dude's actually pretty cool, but Um it's not what I'm looking for right now. No, at this rate, maybe we'll be able to get by without without doing it. And of, and of course, this the position that we're in right now is my own fault. You know, it's because I'm impatient. There we go. Babe Alan, thank you. Welcome, welcome, Babe. All right, so pretty much all of these should be going down now. Very convenient. Barely. <laughs> Just barely. We have a province called Curia? Really? Huh. Is that in the vanilla game? I don't remember hearing that name. Reduce overextension. Sure. We do have one more province that I haven't yet started to core because it costs a lot. Now, I did notice that there is a, uh, a subreddit post where someone's talking about how the second Roman start dates may be more of a challenge. I'm not really in the position where I want to like start over to, to try doing a different start in this. We're going to play this one up until the patch comes out. Um, I'm just going to, you know, play on speed 4 or 5 and enjoy the extended timeline mod while we can. Because most assuredly, major patches typically break major mods, so it's not going to be playable, it's my guess. There'll just be a lot of stuff that needs to get updated before it'll start working again. Bum, 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 bum. All right. So, like our forefathers before us, we shall wait until we have about six, seven, eight hundred admin points after we start this core right now, and then we will attack again. And in the meantime, we just do nothing. We still are focused on admin. Um, just lost our statesman. We don't really care about him too much. We'll just take the level three guy for reasons. We'll keep converting stuff for reasons. <laughs> Religious unity could be a lot better. Um, I believe we are actually getting somewhat close to our first idea group. Like, you know, I don't know, 100 years? I mean, we could very easily get to tech 12. We are 40 years ahead of time for tech 11. So yeah, it's probably like 100 years that we could do it. We'll take spy offense, why not? Now, there was that coalition. They haven't done anything with it. Nor would I really expect them to. Generals gain influence. The generals have taken over. Alright, well, we're not going to let that happen. Thank you. We've learned our lesson in the past. 
Sometimes bonuses are nice, but they can't be, uh, cannot be allowed to have power. It's just not a good deal, man. I mean, as strong as we are right now, we've got 155,000 troops with 61,000 manpower. They would spawn with like 200 to 250,000 troops. And it'd be all over the place. It's kind of a bogus event, if you ask me. It's like, if this is the entirety of the amount of, like, troops we can put together based on our huge empire, then why the hell is the Peasant Rebellion so much... so large? It's... or that, not, not peasants, but, like, the generals. And the reason why is because it's probably one of those scripted events where they take your, uh... Your, your military strength, and then they just give a percentage relative to it. Rival of a rival? I really don't feel like doing that, actually. Uh, sure. <laughs> Meanwhile, the barbarians are just beating each other up. So what are we going to do for an idea group, then? As soon as we can get that. The very first idea group. I'd say probably religious makes the most sense. Just just guessing. I mean, we don't have to keep it. We could take it and then unlock and then and then delete it later. Uh, the extra missionary would be really useful. We could just dump two, two points into it, convert a bunch of extra stuff, and then once we get everything converted, dump the idea group and take... Um, Take something else, you know? Man, that's so weak. Minus 10%. It's not really worth it. <laughs> Obviously, early trade is not useful. This is not good either. Offense is just meh. We don't really need it. I mean, it's good. Don't get me wrong. It is good. But I suppose if we were trying to get core creation cost reduction, I would, I would take offensive over early administrative. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe just take religious and stick with it. Leader Probus Pompilus will die. It's fine. See our... He's not our guy. I don't care. Whatever. They only cost 25, mil, uh, 25 monarch points to hire, so... It's fine. It's totally fine. As long as the... Uh, as long as whatever we're called, the Imperials have power. Feels like your conversions are kind of slow. Now, I forget, were we doing culture conversion? Or were, were we doing development? I remember at one point we were integrating countries. Do we have... We have no subjects right now. Okay. Do you want anyone want to become a subject? Negative 35. Kush. Very little chance that they're actually small enough. Alright. The Ghassanids, sure. These guys are getting to be too far away now. Albania is probably... May maybe, actually. Could maybe be swung. This one's more likely. Let's go for this one. The royal marriage would do it. Royal marriage plus diplomatic reputation advisor. And then up here, we can check these two. Negative 25. I think negative 25 might be... It's close. Let's try improving relations with both of the guys that were at negative 25 reasons. We do have four diplomats. Let's put them to work. See what we can do. I, I do think that diplomatic annexation is a better thing to spend our points on than culture conversion. Although, I don't mind doing culture conversion. I mean, we'll do some. It's going to be 10 years until we can actually incorporate and uh, annex somebody anyway. So we might as well spend the diplo points we have at the moment. And then... Uh, you know, uh, try to obtain vassals that we can then integrate. We have an army that's suffering attrition.
And there is a diplomatic reputation guy available. Since we don't have any uh, unrest, I think we'll go back to level 3. I'd actually really like a level 3 uh, missionary strength guy. Inquisitor. But inflation reduction is not bad. Alright, negative 22, not the same religious group. Roman power. You would expect that that would be worth more. Really. So, threatened is the same thing as friendly. Um, a royal marriage is only 10. Diplomatic reputation is generally, if I'm not mistaken, 5 times your diplo rep, but that's not what we're getting. We're only getting... We have 1.92, and we're only getting 3 for it. I wonder if it's different in this mod. I'm pretty sure I had that remembered. Well, we could we can test that theory. Just hire this guy. So we had 3 reasons. We've just gained 1 Diplo rep. And we gained 3. However, we also possibly just gained... Huh. If it was three before... I don't know. Okay, no, 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 I know what it's doing. Okay, it's giving us three reasons per Diplo rep. And it was rounding down from two po from 1.92 down to one. So then it gives us three. And then we added one, we gained three. So yeah, it's just three, three reasons per Diplo rep. So if our legitimacy got all the way up to 100, we'd have three more reasons. And... That puts us at negative 16, plus a royal marriage is negative 6. So. So that means that it's just probably not going to happen. Excuse me, you've suddenly decided that you want my provinces? Alright, whatever. I guess we're done with you. Okay, uh, the Kassanids, um, we can do, so. We'll just get them in, I guess. It's only two to two provinces. Nine development. It's probably not even, like, really worth using it, but. Wait a second, can I not get you to 190? I should be able to. Um, here's some military access. I'll proclaim my guarantee. Without the royal marriage, it's a little bit tricky. We'll improve and maintain, just to make it easy. We will send you the gift, the gift of life. We'll go ahead and, uh, if we need to, we can do subsidies, but I don't want to do that. We're going to ask for your trade power now. Looks like we will we will have to do subsidies. Someone has just now decided to join the coalition. Are these people like the truces expired, maybe. All right, this won't take very long. Three, three, one. Relatively bad. Love that culture conversion sound. All right, 189. In the next couple months, there we go. Okay, and then before we forget, we'll cancel the subsidies because it's easy to forget about those. <laughs> Fairly sizable barbarian hordes up there, huh?
just a 32 year ahead of time penalty still on these. Well, the Ghassanids came in. Um, you up here were close-ish. We've already hired the Diplo Rep guys, so... Negative 11, and then if I... No, unfortunately. So, to confirm that it's working, yeah, it's Diplomatic Reputation plus 9. It is one, it's three reasons per Diplo Rep. I don't think there's anything else I can do to raise Diplo Rep. Not to mention we currently have an, an active policy or an active thing giving us Diplo Rep, which won't last forever. So, I'm going to go ahead and just take admin tech rather than attack again. Just because I want to I want to make sure that when the first idea group becomes available, I'm not going to be, like, scrambling for monarch points. So I want to be, you know, catch up on admin tech. We'll, we'll expand again at some point in the near future, just not yet. There's no way that you guys would accept, right? Burgundy has more than 100 total development. Really? Where? I only see two provinces for them. The spread of Christianity. Hey, look, more Welsh culture. Okay, well, the Empire is still quite stable. As we've discovered, the way to maintain stability in the Empire is just, you know, spam fire advisors until you get the, the guy that you want. Um, I think that we don't need the Baroque guy, we'll take level 3 guy instead. Uh, Millennial Anniversary of Rome. Based on Roman mythology, the twin brothers Romulus and Rem Remus were born by the joining of their mother, Rhea Silvia, and the god of Mars. After their birth, they were forcefully abandoned by the king Amulius in the Tiber River. Through a series of miraculous invention, interventions, the river carried them to a she-wolf and woodpecker who nurtured them until they were taken in by a shepherd and his wife. Once the boys reached maturity, they learned of their origins, killed Amulius, and went on to found a new city. The two brothers quarreled over the location until Remus was killed. The city of Rome was then created, named after Romulus, on the 21st of April, 753 BC. Now... The 1,000 year anniversary of the founding of Rome has dawned upon us, and the nation celebrates its long history. Wow. So for one year, we, we get either morale of armies or production efficiency. Okay. I mean, we'll take the free stability after having had our, our leader die, but thanks. Not a bad error, 651. That's, those are the monarch points I care about the most, so by all means, keep them coming. All right, let's just do some military development. All right, cool. I'm going to take a break here, though. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. As always, thank you for watching. I'll see you soon.